3D movies changed the way we see films in a theater, and now similar technology is changing the way doctors at Southwest Washington Medical Center help heart patients. Tonight, we're getting an inside look at cardiac imaging. You look at the aorta, it's got a little kink in it. Cardiologist David Boston and Charles Cannon are checking someone's heart, not with a stethoscope, but on a computer screen, thanks to cardiac MRIs and CT scans. CT is kind of a fancy x-ray technology that is very sensitive for picking up calcium. And we know that coronary plaque will become calcified over time. And that, according to doctors, can lead to a heart attack. This is where the latest advancements in cardiac technology are changing the lives of patients. This picture from a CT scanner gives doctors an incredible 3D look at the heart from every angle. This can help lead us to guiding therapy, whether or not uh, patients need a, a cardiac catheterization and then maybe to have a stent placed or other special procedures, maybe bypass surgery. And it doesn't matter if the person's big, small, got bad lungs, um, you, you are able through the technology to get a really wonderful look at the anatomy. Probably it is the best look at the heart's anatomy that we have. Dr. Cannon gets that precise look at the heart in the operating room. Here he's using real-time x-rays during a patient's heart procedure. We can also give a, a, a special kind of contrast to the patient that allows us to look for scarring in the heart muscle or inflammation in the heart muscle. And so those are things you can't do with just an ultrasound or an echo. The advanced technology allows doctors to help patients faster and more efficiently than ever before, giving them a second chance at building a healthier heart. But then we can send you know, those graphs home and um, uh, with the patient and, and he can see the calcium in the coronaries so that will motivate people to change their lifestyle. The world of medicine is ever-changing and now thanks to 3D imaging cardiologists working at Southwest Washington Medical Center won't miss a beat.